the master of ceremony and members of parliament from Nairobi who convened, who convened the public participation in bombers of Kenya must be held personally responsible to the goons that were unleashed on Morara Kebaso in the bombers of Kenya. And I'm a bit disappointed with the politics of goons. I'm in record in this channel saying that um, we cannot support the politics of goonism in 2024. I remember when Sakaji was attacked, I said no. Ladies and gentlemen, I let, allow me to veer off from the corporate language. And let me say firmly that it is backward, reckless, and I don't uncouth for this regarding impeachment for government to plant goons, and I'm so, spe so specific on goons planted by government to attack Morara. Look at this video. Morara has given account of what happened, and he's saying that um, when he arrived at Bumas of Kenya, he was denied and he was barred from entering Bumas at the gate and then he was accompanied but, but when the police when, when those who were manning there realized that he also had uh, some young people with him when he finally got inside he was seated there and was denied the mic to speak in the bombers of Kenya floor no 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 we go and sit down and we'll give you the microphone but down only when you are seated down only when you are order only when you are in an order Order! Our Vijana Hawa! Our Vijana! E. Omera E. 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 This boy here, e. where the man, e. wacha ujinga hapa, usilene ujinga, hapa ulene ule ujinga, marara, Everybody sit down. To Kaichini, to Kaichini, to Kaichini, one and I rope it to Kaichini. I to Kaichini. I to Kaichini. 
Tukae chini watu wetu tukae chini tukae chini Nairobi oi Oi Nairobi oi Oi Nairobi oi Oi Nairobi oi Oi Hii ndio utamu ya Nairobi Hiyo ndio utamu ya Nairobi Tukae chini tukae chini tukae chini Tukae chini Hiyo ndio utamu Eh Tukae chini Ndio 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 Yes 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 Yes. Wala wala kawa, yes. kawa, 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 kawa. Yes. Kina mama mkae. Tukae, Kabisa. Aya, tukae chini tutulie, Aya. tutulie, tutulie. Aya. There was no song. Aya, sit down. Aya, sit down. Oh my god. Aya. chini. Aya, tukae, tukae. Tukae, tukae. Watu wetu. Hey. Hapa tutoke tutoke Tukae chini hapa, tukae tutoke. chini Wewe Tutoke hapa tutoke Aya, tutoke tukai. hapa Tukae 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 tutoke Kazi endelee Kazi endelee tukae, tukae. tukae chini tukae tukae Kazi endelee Wana decorate north kaeni chini Kazi. sasa Wale wa mama walikuwa huko nje waingizwe Eh hey, vijana wewe hey. Vijana wewe hey. Tuna mkutano hatuna mkutano Tutatishwa ama tutatishwa Hii Nairobi ni yetu sote Na hatuta uziwa uoga Hatuta uziwa uoga, sinio? Tukae chini, tuendele na mkutano Hii ni public participation Imeithiniwa kikatiba, sinio? Mutu akitaka siyasa Atugoje kwa ground, sidiyo? Siyasa iko wapi? Ground Aya, Siyasa iko wapi? Ground tuendele. Hapa tunafanya shuguli ya bunge The National Assembly of Aya. Kenya This is so bad This is backward I want us to analyze that video And there are some observations that I want you to make from that video the men who were attacking Morara, immediately attacked Morara, entered the bombers of Kenya. He went and sat down. And the moment he got inside there, of course, someone else was giving her views and his views. It was the time when MPs of Nairobi, some, a section of MPs from Nairobi, organized some public participation. And MPs allegedly worked together to convene to bring different members from different constituencies to convene there. But there is one constituency, let me not say because of framing, but your guess, your guess can be as good as mine. There is one constituency that ferried goons to bombers of Kenya. Tabia mbaya sana. Tabia mbaya sana. 2024, still talking about the politics of goons? No. No, no, the country, our democracy is growing. We cannot still remain in the traditional orthodox means of throwing chairs at people in events. And what is regarding this impeachment? What is ODM interest in regarding this impeachment? No. A section of the attendees. Are the ones, and if you look at the men that descended on Morara, they were men in black. They were men in suits. Another observation you can make there, the MC, that lady, I don't know who is that lady. She's already blaming Morara. Umekuja kuwaribu event. What did Morara do? He was invited. He's a Kenyan. He's also an Nairobian. So Morara was also attending that event. He had gotten an invitation. That's what we've got. He was invited in that event. And there is nothing he did. He went there and sat down. Then immediately people started throwing chairs now saying disapproving his presence. And that MC, instead of acting like quelling, he's saying, Marara umekuja kuwaribu, amearibu nini? Look at that lady. And then uh, that MP, I don't know whether it's TJ, is marveling, he's saying, he ndiyo siyasa ya Nairobi. Look at, you know, I've, I've listened to that.
So sasa Nairobi ni kupigana. That is it. Then tuende tuvae ushago bus. Do you, do you, you read the mood of the MC? The two MCs, they were not they were not shocked of it. It's something that they really have known and for them it was normal. Them saying, you know, you know Hindi sasa in Nairobi. So what? Murara arrived and sat there comfortable. He sat down. He didn't go and then started grabbing microphone or he was not even the one talking. And if you need to state manage, immediately he arrived, the plan was to kick him out. So why didn't they want Morara in that event? I will answer that question. But if you want to know all this was choreographed, if you listen to speeches even before Morara arrived, the speeches, those who spoke were in conformity with what Morara was saying. <laughs> Na 
zile nguvu zile yani kanieto wengi wana bishana na chama tunaona hakuna chama kingine imekuwa ndio cha watu mbili kwa hivyo sore na ukabila kwanza kuondoe karo wao wanagonyesha na sisi kama kanieto sisi hatuna ukabila na ndio maana tunasema maliku kwa makaka Marara said yesterday that let us not impeach Regadi alone. If the house is rotten, let us impeach both Regadi and the president. Now, I want to play for you some two videos of some people that spoke before Marara. They were saying the same thing of let's impeach both the president and his deputy. So, I don't I don't understand why someone would feel uncomfortable with the presence of Morara before even before Morara arrived there already the members and the young people that were there were already speaking the same language of let's impeach both Ruto and Rigadi so one critical thing observation you can make from there outrightly someone sat somewhere choreographed and said he doesn't want Morara in that event someone had to ensure that Morara is not part and parcel of that event. So I want to explain in details why goons were unleashed to lynch Morara so that he can be ejected from the bombers of Kenya. Lack of a better word, those people that organize those goons, those are cowards. Those are cowards. And the two angle to it, the two issues in that, it is Nairobi leadership, and the other one, it is the team behind the guard impeachment. It's both two. And I want to analyze that. But before that, I want to say thank you very much for having supported uh, Baby Becky, uh, for Baby Becky fundraisers. I realize quite a number of us maybe did not know what happened. I just want to give you a snippet of video of this is what we did. Sorry, Becky. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, Hey, Mark. Hey, Hey, so I was talking to the the, the, the doctor, mm -hmm. the head doctor, he, he, he neurolo, neurology ward. Mm -hmm. At least because now she's not having convulsions. Mm -hmm. She'll continue having taking them for two years, eh? Like in other words, when the camera reduces, eh? Because they are very sensitive. You can't take always. Watcha, it's come a panado like you know. Watcha, it's come oja. You watcha is na rudi. So you na monitor lafu. Afterwards, uh, after two years of monitoring without convulsions, now they can, they can, they can talk, take off. Oh, like in the afternoon. Yeah, like in the general. Then I keep on going, I keep on going, I keep on going, I keep on going. Already now they are working because she has not, she has not had a convulsion from this, from December. Because you know, from here, I, I, I go on conscious. They look quite mild. Like in the tango, I keep you. I just want a convulsion. Hi guys. So thank you very much to Bolt. We are already in Kenyatta. So we have already handed over the two hundred thousand cash to Ronald. Ronald is here. Ronald is the father to Baba Becky, and so Ronald will acknowledge and also tell us um, at the top Becky Lini because now that part is the only one winning. So, can we sign up? Thank you very much uh, to yourself and your team. Uh, we really appreciate the support uh, that uh, has come through uh, your efforts. And, uh, I'm, I'm Ronald Michael Kamau, that's my name, Baba Becky. And, uh, uh, we are hoping to get home, get Becky home uh, by Friday. By Friday. What do you mean? Uh, now that uh, we are able to report one, two things. Uh, and uh, we we'll definitely inform you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you come and do a follow up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are welcome to our home. Uh, come and see the progress you have seen her. 
uh, Jovi Obrado. And uh, once she goes home, she's going to be happy. Mm -hmm. And he helped me to thank and the support of uh, so many other people. So how much have you received? You received 200,000. Yes, from the gold uh, mission. Uh, mission. No. Um, uh, maybe Michael, tell us something about the Bideki. Uh, why, why Friday? You know, some people might ask. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, so the, the, the quite a bit of uh, process, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we will be, um, she's going to be distilled this Friday. So we'll be there uh, over this weekend looking at how the mood of the, if there will be peace, of course, we'll be able to move. We'll also pay a visit uh, at home when she's, uh, when she's already discharged. And those can be willing, we can tag along. But those who also had pledged support, you can still support because we'll go there this weekend and it will go a long way. And thank you very much for supporting. Let's go back to this. Someone wanted to project an image that Gen Z's are against Morara. It is an act of divide and rule. And the reason why, and, and I told you, ejected, Morara ejected is on twofold. One is the people that are behind the impeachment. The other one is Nairobi leadership. So let me start with the people behind the impeachment. The day on Monday, when Morara was arre arrested, Morara was arrested on Sunday evening, if I'm not wrong. When he was taken to court on Monday, then the day he was released from Milimani Law Court, from Milimani High Court, he drove his convoy drove, drove straight to CBD, and young people and Kenyans converged around Morara. Then from there, he then went straight to his office, where he explained what had happened the previous day. But if there is something that is sitting pretty uncomfortable with the Kenya Kwanzaa administration is the fact that Morara is emerging as the Gen Z leader. Because if casually you just ask someone who maybe did not follow this public participation, one thing, they would want to, they want to do some divide and rule in the sense that it would come out that those who, if, if Morara is with the Gen Z's, most people who are in Bomas of Kenya were Gen Z's. Why did they chase him? So someone wants to run a narrative that Gen Z's have chased Morara. But I like what the media have done. And I was just looking at the WhatsApp group by a consortium of journalists. People, we have agreed that those who chased Morara from Bomas are not Gen Z's. It's not a section of Gen Z's. Those are planted goons. Those were planted goons. A well coordinated scheme because what was their objective they wanted to chase morara from that event so that's the fun thing to project the fact that morara probably is not seen now the other issue i want to tell you here is that just before morara arrived the speeches by those who are there I'm very sure that uh, the state is really monitoring and pl uh, the state planted high-level intelligence in Bomas of Kenya. And they realized that the clips of those people opposing impeachment is going viral. And it's already shaping the public narrative. So from some point, they decided, some elements decided to use Morara so that they can divert their attention on the impeachment revolt. Because someone wants that the news headline should be on how goons attacked Morara. In fact, I'm very sure they would even hurt, even kill him. And, 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 and if you look at the way they were throwing those, Nini, they were throwing those chairs, you know, it was well choreographed. Look at this. Do you know it's not very easy to get bombers of Kenya? to convene in Bomas of Kenya. And do you make any observation that when all that were going on, I did not see police entering that podium? Yes. They were not entering. They were not even there. I'm very sure that if these people knew they are going to do public participation, they preempted the situation where there would be different voices. Some of the things you would have expected is presence of the police, just like the day there was those elections. So all that is happening 
throw, chairs are being thrown and police is not intervening. Yes, if, if everything is fine that it was spontaneous, why did the police, why, are we, why, are we, why didn't we see the police inside there? So this is, the, and that is why I'm saying it is a state-made attack on Morara. State-made attack. State-managed attack on Morara. So that is, uh, that is the other thing. They want it because now they want the story will run. Th that will be the headline. No, we also have to remind the country about how Kenyans revolted about it. The other issue is um, they could also have been thinking of maybe scuttling that event. We call it an event here and maybe we call it a Kwaribu event. In the sense they were told, watch what we are like when you realize Kumba, what to wanabonga our supporting impeachment, if people are not supporting the impeachment, then we'll find a way of ending the session. And I'm so sure one of the plans of what was there was to end the session because what was going to happen? The moment they attacked Morara, they was expecting that a section of the youth will re a section of the youth will revolt, and after revolting on that end, maybe they'll walk out and the session will end. And, and as you can see, he was there and th there were specific people. I remember there is a gentleman who was given a microphone. And some residents of uh, Sare said, no, he's not from Sare. He, and they said he's an intruder. They were saying he was not from Sare. I wanted to look at that. Uh, I wanted to look at this video. This video, this gentleman was being rejected by the people. Why? They were saying he's not from Sare. And they pointed him as an intruder. Look at this. So that is why I'm telling you that state infiltrated goons in Bomas of Kenya. And that was their third objective. Now the other one, framers of the crafters of regard impeachment are framing Morara as regard the sympathizer. Yes. Those who have organized public participation are movers of the motion. Those who want to impeach the Gade. Then, Morara comes and they plant goons to chase him. What do they want to achieve? They want to push him out. Probably they have framed him as a man who is supporting the Gade impeachment. Now, um, now let me talk about, I told you it's twofold. Let me talk about the other angle. This plan 
can as well be at the angle of Nairobi politicians who feel threatened that Morara Kebaso is taking over Nairobi. For one thing, that inject party is, attra is attracting young people. And whenever he goes within Nairobi, he's been attracting huge crowds. Crowds that some, even some of the prominent politicians from Nairobi cannot. So this would also be a strategy to silence him. So that he doesn't talk about what's happening and is suppressed and he goes out of it. So it is a strategy. It could still be by Nairobi politicians. And that is why, and, and where am I getting that point? I think that is TJ saying, Siasa Nairobi, you and your Siasa Nairobi. How would you say that? How would you marvel? How about if they kill him? Would you still say Siasa Nairobi? A pig na ile na ila yu meza. Yu meza pigi ata kichwa. Ipasuke. Or Murara dies there. Will you still marvel as that is Siasa Nairobi? I find that a bit reckless. And lastly, when Morara arrived, uh, there is something that um, the organizers were aiming at. They knew that probably Morara has been sent to test the waters to know whether other prominent politicians can come. So people might be preempting that when Morara is there and they will see the reception of Morara, probably Amata Karua or other Zimio leaders or probably even Rigari Geshag or someone, some prominent politicians would actually grace that event. So they chased Marara as a threat to any other person because if there will be other leaders that wanted to come, they already have realized that the ground is very hostile. And maybe they also created the hostility to make that place unhospitable for any other leader who was coming. Now, when you see Morara, next you will see Kasol Makoure, and then the person that we always expect there will be maybe Matakarua. You'll be expecting civil society organizations. You'll be expecting um, Okia Omtata and the so and so on and so forth. So they chased Morara to send a signal out there that this place is not very hostile. I find that, I repeat, that is very, very, very coward and backward. I believe someone should be held accountable. The country is growing democratically. And I've seen someone saying, one of the things that Morara is also lacking, and this is not his default, is he doesn't have intelligence around him. Of course, that's one thing that you also need in politics. You need to have intelligence so that they can be able to tell you, this is where to go, this is not where to go. But one thing I like is this. They're making him. They're building a name for him. 